Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDC Geo video. Today guys, we're taking a look at a Yenmega Lycanroc deck. Yenmega is almost going to be out of the format very, very soon, and it's time to take a look at it one last time, and we're going to be partnering today with Lycanroc GX. Before we get into today's video, I want to thank you guys for all the feedback and the support on the top 5 video on post-rotation. People liked it, and you know what? I think I am going to do more top 5 videos. Maybe every Saturday I'll do a top 5 video. It seems good to do one every Saturday. Um... So, yeah, maybe every Saturday I'll do a top 5 video, and uh, yeah, we'll get into today's deck. It is, of course, Yenmega Lycanroc, like I said. So, once again, Yenmega is going to be leaving the format very soon. Steam Siege is rotating out. However, Yenmega has some good traits still. It is a grass type, and that is pretty good to hit right now. Greninjas and Lycanrocs, they're all weak to grass. And Yenmega has such an interesting ability, it's almost impossible not to look at it. So... Yeah, exactly. Four cards in your hand. Ignore all energy in the attack cost of each of his Pokemon's attacks. That's actually really powerful because you don't need any energy, which is really good. It's like you don't need to attack energy. So you don't have to worry about digging for energy. You just get to attack for free. That is beautiful. But you don't have to manipulate your hand a bit to get it to four cards. There's a lot of ways you can do that. Thankfully, Judge is back in the standard format, so we can use Judge to help us out too. So, Yamega can do good numbers. The problem is... is... Well, it can do good numbers with Assault Bloom, they have to have a tool on them. Which your opponent can play around very easily by just simply not attaching a tool. However, this is kind of where Lagonrock comes into the fray. Lagonrock can be our secondary attacker. It does attack Zork for weakness with Claw Slash. We have access to Dangerous Rogue if we ever need to take out a big threat. We have Bloodthirsty Eyes, so that can replace our Guzma if we do a different supporter for the turn to help Yamega out. But Lagonrock can also be the attacker that forces your opponent to play the tool on it so that Yamega can knock them out. So there's with Yamega. But we do have Yamega Break to save us here. Yamega Break does give your Yamega more HP, and it gives it Barrier Break. Unfortunately, it doesn't hit for weakness, so you can't do 200 damage to Greninjas, or even Lycanrocs. That's really sad, and one of the more annoying things about Barrier Break, but you do hit for good numbers, and you do 100 damage, which is fine enough. So, Yamega has helped. Now, yamega has got one more good trait. It does have a resistance to fighting, which is beautiful. Buzzwool will have a hard time putting good damage on Yamega at the start of the match. So the fighting resistance comes in. So other cards in the deck, of course, we got our 2-2 Lycanroc for our backup attacker. We are playing one baby Buzz. If you're playing Fine Energy, you might as well play him. We are playing one Latios. Buzzwool is not a great time, even with the Omega's resistance. Buzzwool can still be an uphill battle. Latios can help us do our own thing. It's also a good starting Pokemon to get damage on the board while we kind of build up our Omega army a little bit. We got one one Octillery, another good draw support card, which does also help us quite a bit when we need to get those four card hands. Um, we got two Tapu Leles with uh, Wonder Tag, and those were all the Pokemon in the deck. We got four Yemmas. Funny thing about Yemma, I do mention this in the video, you can actually DC Choice Band, do 100 damage to a, like, say, like a Greninja or a Lycanroc GX. You can do 100 of them with a Choice Band. And then, if you get heads on the coin flip and they can't do anything about it, you actually just knock them out the following turn with another 100 damage attack. Yemma OP confirmed. Going to the items now. We got one Evo Soda to be able to Evo Soda into our Yen Mega line. And we got two Field Blowers. You don't want to Field Blow your opponent's tools off, but if you're playing against Garboder, you need this to be able to play Yen Mega's ability. We got one copy of Max Potion. Really clutch card in this deck. Yen Mega doesn't need any energy attack. It can take a hit. 140 HP is pretty bulky against Zoar, and again, Puzzle can be hard. And even stuff like Gardevoir can struggle too sometimes. So you can just Max Potion all the damage off and uh, reset them. One Palpad, this is here to get our supporters back. Palpad's not really, uh, that's not Palpad. Palpad is not really too popular at the moment, um, but it's good in here when you need to get back your judges and stuff for your Mega. One Stretch, you get your Pokemon back. We are playing one Timer Ball. Yeah, Timer Ball, Evo Soda Split. Evo Soda's great for your Mega and Artillery, but Timer Ball is good for Lycanroc, so it's better to probably play the split of the boat. Timer Ball is, you know, kind of annoying when it does get heads up. Four Ultra Balls to be able to search for your Pokemon. Two copies of Bridget. Turn on Bridget is key with this deck. We got three Cynthia's for draw. Two Guzmas, we do have two Lycanrocs. We do play two Judges, again, one of the best draw cards. We're gonna play one Mallow. With Octillery, we can make a lot of stuff happen with Mallow. Um, you can have a lot of fun with it. Mallow, also, once again, one of those manipulation hand size cards, because um, you can grab what you need. We are playing three ends. Heavy end count is good, because end is another way we can get those nice hand sizes. We got two Sycamores. You don't need to go crazy on the Sycamores, because you Sycamore and you get like a hand of stuff you can't play. It's like, shoot, I can't attack with the Omega, rip me. We got three choice bands for the extra 30, very important with the Omega Break to do 130 to two shot. Two floatstones for free retreat, 
two copies of strong energy enhanced hammer is so popular and three fine energy but the reason for these is like sometimes you might even just have to attach two yurian mega because of garbota or something and if you don't have field blower you might as well just go attach your basic energy and dc and make it that way so that's kind of the reason behind like two strong and three fighting and four dcs because everything uses dc this is my yen mega black and deck it is a very interesting yen mega build at the moment i like the deck quite a bit actually we'll find some games with it see how the deck performs for us see if we can get some good matches with it and uh, we'll see Yamega one last time in action here on PCGO and before Yamega wins Worlds. Alright guys, here we go. Let's go find some matches with our Yamega Lycanroc deck. We'll see what we end up facing off against here. And uh, we'll see if we can find a good game. Alright, it looks like we're playing against potentially Zork Lycanroc. Like, he's got a lot of types in the deck. He's got, he's got Fighting, Fire, um, and Dark. So this has to be... Is that, is that a Water... Is that a water energy deck box I see? I, it's so like shaded out, I can't really see it. But it looks like he's playing water in his deck. I don't know. Yeah, it is. Okay, I don't know what he's playing. A lot of different types. I am have to go off and assume this is going to be a Lycanroc deck with Zoark. But what would the fire type be? It's got to be like, the types just don't match up. So we're going to start with Buzzwool and Yanma. Uh, ooh, well maybe it's a Darkrai deck. I guess it's a Darkrai deck. Um... Okay, that's fine. So we can start with Yamma, or we can, or he can concede the game, or we should just get a quick win. Dang it, dude! That I think I had Bridget in my hand. I actually can't remember, but uh, I had a pretty good hand there, so that kind of sucks. We'll see if we can find another match though. We'll see if the second match we get is going to be good. All right, Gardevoir. Gardevoir is actually kind of tricky to beat, despite Yamega not needing energy, any energy to attack, which is good. It's like I don't know. Something about Gardevoir is just not not, not good. Um, we are going to start with Baby Buzzwool. We do have Bridget and Lele, so that's fine. We do have a good enough hand. If we can get an energy. We can start swinging with Sledgehammer here and get some pressure on my opponent. Opponent will mulligan, though. So, yeah, it's a Gardevoir deck. Gardevoir we can beat. It's not impossible. Again, one of the benefits of using Yamega is it does not need any energy to attack, forcing the Gardevoir to have to play a lot of energy to take us out. And, ooh, we did get energy. Now the only problem here is, is he might end me? No, he's gonna bridge it up. Okay. So we have a pretty strong hand. I can sledgehammer him. Um, I can power up a rock rough to get ready for Lycanroc. I don't hate that because we can actually start attacking with Lycanroc next turn. Ooh, thank you for playing that tool. You do not know how bad that is for you. So we're gonna grab probably Remoraid rock rough Hmm, yeah, I think that's fine. Sure. We'll grab these three. What I can do is I can power up the Rockruff, because there's really no point in attacking this Remoraid. Like, we can always knock it out with Yen Mega and Lycanroc, which is one of the combos that this deck can do. So there's no need to even attack into this, so we can probably just attach the energy to Rockruff, and we can pass the turn. In the next turn, we can Lele, Guzma, bring out Lycanroc, and we can Claw Slash, knock out one of the Rolts. Or my opponent will end me. Never mind, that play is shut down. Glad he put that tool on that Rolts, though. He can always remove it if he has a Field Blower, but I'm glad he played it. Okay, we got Yamega. We did get Mallow and Max Potion, but we don't have any Octillery, so if we can top deck Ultra Ball, we can make use of this. My opponent will go into a Sylveon, though. We don't have an N. I'm going to have to judge him here. Bit of a waste of a judge. It's fine though. It's not a big deal. Um, do I want to just sledgehammer him for 30? I could dig for. I can find a choice ban maybe and then like hit him for 60. I don't hate that. Okay, we did get a Lycanroc. He doesn't have enough Pokemon on his bench though for me to knock out, which is kind of bad. I think I just go for the play where I just swing with Buzzwool here, and we'll judge him, shutting down that magical ribbon he did. We do find a Yemma. We do have a Timer Ball, so we can try to grab Octillery here. We have Guzma, which is really good, so next turn we can start to attack this Ralts. And can we get double heads? We do not. Okay, but we still get Octillery. So next turn we can try and knock out Ralts, or try and put damage on that Ralts with Assault Boom, depending if he goes Guard or, or Curlia. So... Okay, we do have Lycanroc. I could actually play this now, force up a Ralts, and then just swing it for 30. But honestly, like, I don't really hate putting damage on Sylveon either. 
I think I just do that. I don't really mind getting damage on this thing. It's kind of beefy, you know, but we can always set it up to be Dangerous Rogue if worse comes to worse. Next turn, we can do a Guzma play, hopefully, if we can draw well enough. We should be able to take out one of these Ralts. My opponent will Skylar for Ultra Ball. The only annoying thing is here is they can't get Gardevoir, but they're also going to get everything off that Magical Ribbon. Which is really unfortunate. My opponent's gonna read a field blower. Okay, yep. So you're not even gonna field blower that that choice made. No, perfect. We can also knock out artillery if we really wanted to. Oh, and he's actually building up Rolfs. I mean, I can always try and attack with Lycan Rock if I can top deck a DCE. Um, but no, my opponent's actually gonna magical ribbon here. I mean, we have an end. Yeah, maybe it's just better to end him here and just swing with Sledgehammer again and. Just kind of play it out, build up a board a bit. I don't know if I like that, though. Like, I don't mind just playing aggressive here, knocking out one of the Ralts. We, I mean, if we had Yamega Break, we could actually knock out Ralts. I could play my hand down with Guzma, Lycanroc, and then try and Octillery, get Yamega Break, knock out these Ralts. I get him for 30, he'd have 140 HP left. And then he's in range of getting Dangerous Rope. But because of strategy choice ban, I don't think that's even necessary. But I do like Baby Buzzwolf in this matchup. One energy attack can do a lot of damage to Gardevoirs in the late game. If we can actually get the effect. So it's probably better to end him here. Um, yeah, I think it's honestly better to end him. I, I don't really see any problem with that. We just keep shutting him down. We do find a choice ban and a DCE. Okay. Um... I can Ultra Ball, get rid of, probably just double Cynthia to be honest. I kind of hate that, but whatever, it's fine. We can grab another Yamega. It's fine by me. We do have Palpad, so we can always get back those supporters. Now the question here is, do I want to play the Choice Band on and do I want to swing for 60? And I think I will do that. Just, just play it while I still can. We'll Octillery, see if we can find a strong energy. We do, we do get another Yamega Break. So I can attach the Star Energy, I can start building up Buzzwool here, and we can just hit him for a nice solid 80 damage. Next turn, we could KO him with Swing Around, or we can retreat into a Mega Break. No, no, so we have options. He could plea me, that's something I am worried about. If he has DCE, he could plea me, he could reset the whole Yamega line. That would be really annoying. But I don't think it's a big issue, to be honest. Okay, we got Field Blower, we don't really need that. He is going to Rare Candy into Gardevoir, but he has to Rare Candy the Tooled one, so that's good. Oh, wow. Did you just end yourself into double Rare Candy Gardevoir? How on earth... Did... That that That's just insanely good luck. I am actually kind of annoyed about that. Alright, let's see what he does here. I don't think Baby Buzz will survive the turn, actually. But I'm fine, you know, it's whatever. Sylveon's heavily damaged. I don't know if he's playing Max Potion or Ace Rolla. He's actually just got a Magical Ribbon. So we can end him and then swing around, knock him out. Bit of a waste of Buzzwool here, but I mean, we took care of Sylveon, and then we could use the Omega to take care of these Gardevoirs. However, I don't know, I, I think my point is gonna play smart and try and play around the Dangerous Rogue, which is kind of unfortunate, but we can swing around him here. Which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to burn quite a few energies to do this. But I'm fine with that. I don't know why he's playing so many tools on his Gardevoirs, though. I can't complain, but it's kind of weird. Um, we do get Palpat. We'll get back probably just Cynthia and a Judge. I can Ultra Ball for another Yamega Break, which I don't hate that. We don't really need Latios anymore. I mean, he might play Gallade. If he does want to play Gallade, so be it. I mean, I honestly could have just grabbed Lycanroc here and brought out Gardevoir now. Okay, so maybe if we hit Lycanroc here, maybe I'll do that, because this thing can always be KO'd by Yamega. Okay, so maybe I should have done that when I had the chance. It's fine, though. We'll, we'll swing around. Wow, we actually got two heads, which is what? 170? Dang it, maybe I should have done that. We could have put a nice chunk of damage on him, and that's fine. We do get a Yamega off the prizes, but I think at this point, it's kind of all down to Yamega taking him down. And again, he has to devote a lot of energy to knock out my Yamega. Best part about that is, two free prizes, he didn't really get much benefit out of Magical Ribbon, so that's good. He will do Cynthia. Sadly, Octillery is kind of helping him because we can't really judge him to a low hand size and maybe try and buy some time. Ooh, super boost energy. That's a little scary. 
That's gonna let him do a lot of damage, but it's only got two stage twos in place, so it's not a big issue. We are gonna lose our Buzzle, but it's fine. We are gonna see a Super Rod. Probably get back to the Sylveon line and the energy. But again, you make him convert a lot of damage on the board here. And uh, we always have Lycanroc if we ever need it. We can always get Baby Buzzle back too if we really need Sledgehammer that badly. We are going to see an Ultra Ball for my opponent, getting rid of Guzma and energy. Guzma is a decent discard, I guess. Okay, he's going to put more Pokemon on his bench. However, he does want to establish that super boost energy. So maybe I Guzma this Gardevoir out, because that super boost energy is not something I like seeing. But now we're kind of in session. We got a lot going here. We did lose quite a bit of energy off of that Buzzwool there. Um, okay. So we play Omega down. We can grab Leyleg and Guzma that Guardy up, which I think I'm going to do. Probably get rid of one of the DCs at this point. Not, not really mattering too much. And we can Guzma Guardy. We can put a nice chunk of damage on it. Is that our last Guzma? It is. But we still have Lycanroc. I mean, I also got a Dug for Lycanroc here, too. Instead of putting Lele down. But it's fine. Um, we'll bring out Yamega. I could have Bissell Hand for one, which we might as well. It doesn't really matter what we get, because we can play this Choice Band down. And I'll probably just put it on Rockruff, to be honest. Um, I could put Lycanroc down, no point. We'll Assault Boom him for 120. We are going to two-shot these Guardies. I don't think he's playing Max Potion or Ace Rolla. Like, he's got to play stuff like Skylas and Sylveons. And Super Boost Energy with no other, like, real thing. I mean, it's kind of clunky. He's actually going to knock out Octillery. Okay. This is a little worrying because we lose a lot of our potential draw support that helps us. But, at the same time, he's not dealing with the uh, Megas. He actually probably could have taken out Lele if he really wanted to. But, you know, he's heavily damaged. I don't mind losing Octillery. We haven't even played a stretcher yet, so whatever. Really wish we could take a Dangerous Rogue KO. I'm actually not even going to play Lycanroc down. It's just such an easy prize for him. I think I'm just going to judge him here, to be honest with you. And then just attack him. We could bridge it, but there's literally no point. That's what I wanted. We could just assault boom him for 120. You just keep putting a lot of damage on these guardies. They're all heavily damaged. And we still have Lycanrox to uh, bring them up and knock them out. Gallade? Ooh, that's actually annoying. He doesn't have a tool on it. Parallel City? That's fine. We can get rid of Tapu Lele since it's useless. Well, actually, Lele's good in this matchup because of all the energy he plays, especially that Super Boost energy. It's fine though, again, we still have a lot of things we can get back. We still bigger. We still have our stretch, right? So we're good. Oh, he does play Ace Rolo. Oh my gosh, why? <laughs> That's really annoying. That is really annoying. We are resistant to fighting. Gallade's not gonna one-shot us at any time. But that is very, very annoying. He does, however, have four Pokemon on his bench. So I think we actually have a KO on Guardi here. And I think I will take it. Should be okay. Ace Rolla is super annoying. How? Ooh, he's actually just gonna retrieve the boost energy one. Okay. Is he gonna put the Rolls back down? He is, so that is 200 damage. 230 damage. Which is enough to knock him out. So, we can take out a Guardi. He's actually just. Are you really not going to knock me out with Gallade? Or at least attack me with Gallade? That's actually a really weird play. But I am okay with that. Now, I'd like to be able to give him a lower hand size. We can't do that, though. I think I just Mallow. So I can't remember if I have another N or Lele in the deck. I do have another Judge. I think I just go Mallow. We do have Lele and Judge, okay. Whatever. We'll probably put Judge on top. We do have our Stretcher, which is good. And yeah, we can knock out Gardevoir here with Assault Boom, thanks to uh, him playing all those duels on. And we take our two free prizes. 
another Yamega Break, there's another DCE. We still have our Lele, which can always attack for nice big damage. And he brings out Ralt, so... Do you seriously have your, like, last two candies in your hand? Really? Really? Oh my gosh. This dude is getting pretty crazy candy luck this match, not gonna lie. That is some insane candy luck. I, I, I never get that when I'm playing Gardevoir. I never get that. I, I play a lot of Gardevoir and Expanded for, like, grinding the ladder, and... I never get this wealthy. I never get this luck. End of two. That could be bad. We do still have quite a few supporters, but this could be bad. I don't even think he knocks out Yamega this turn. Oh, shoot. We didn't get a good hand. We can actually just Evo Soda. Please put another Pokemon on your bench so I can knock you out. I like a knock GX. That would be great. We can win the game here if he puts another Pokemon down. So hopefully he does. It's going to Primo Wish in. He might avoid that. We haven't. We, I haven't literally played a single Lycanroc yet, so he might suspect, like, oh shoot, he hasn't played Lycanroc, that's not good. We kind of have to attack with Lycanroc here. Ooh, he's stretching. please put the Pokemon in your hand. Yes! Is he going to put it down? I mean, he could Field Blower me, and then we can't win right away, but we'll see. This could be a big Abyssal hand. We literally win the game if he doesn't knock me out. Okay, we win the game, nice. So Lycanroc can clean up with the Dangerous Rogue. This is why I like having a little Lycanroc in the deck. We could also... Yeah, we can just win with Dangerous Rogue. He's got enough Pokemon on his bench. And uh, the Choice Band allows us to do 230 damage. To do enough math. To take out Gardevoir in a pretty good match. That was a really good game. We showed off basically everything there. Really, if my opponent didn't play that many tools on his Guardies, we would have been okay. I don't know why he did that. That was super weird. Um, but, I mean, despite all that luck he had with Rare Candy... Okay, he did play Max Potion. He also had Anaporter, which he could have used on, like, my, uh... Could have Anaported onto, like, Artillery. That would have been annoying. But, uh, that was a good match, for sure. We'll find another game with our deck, of course. We'll see what we end up facing against now. Okay, here we go. Alright, it looks like... Ooh, this could be Vikabulu. Vikabulu's weird. It's a weird matchup for us. Because, you know... We got that grass weakness, which really sucks. This also could be Glisspod Garb, which is also a bad matchup for us because of Garb Odor. And the fact that Glisspod is super tanky, we struggle to even two-shot it, and he has a Sorola Spam, so... This is actually a really bad matchup for us if he's playing Glisspod Garb. That might be our worst matchup. And that is a awful hand. We have to get rid of three of our Yen Megas off of that. that that is not good at all. We'll see if we can draw something. We do have a lot of outs. That's that that makes that even worse. That that's just an amazing top deck. We can't even shuffle them back with the deck. What kind of a top deck is that? <laughs> I'm just gonna pass. That that's that, that top deck is super bad. I'm not even gonna bother. I don't even know what I want to do. Like this is super annoying. Uh, these trubbishes have enough HP to take a hit from breakthrough, which is also annoying. Garbodor is going to be a huge issue in this matchup, though. Not looking forward to Garbodor at all. Garbodor is going to be hard to deal with. Glisspod, Garbodor, definitely. Maybe our worst matchup, to be honest. It might be our worst matchup. We can't use Lycanroc that much. Garbodor shuts us down, and... The Ace Roller spam is super frustrating to deal with when we're not doing enough to Glisspod a lot of the time. So, this matchup is pretty bad. It's actually going to play a Rainbow Energy on and just pass. Alright, what do we draw? Drew an Energy. Jeez. He's going to pass. His hand is pretty bad. I, I, I want a Sycamore. But at the same time, if like we can draw into an N or a Judge or a Cynthia. Or even a Bridget. It's like, we don't need to do it. He's actually going to Guzma my Buzzwool. Okay. Oh, he's bringing up Trevish. Okay, now he has 60 HP, so we can get knocked out. I mean, we lose energy, which is fine, I guess. <laughs> we are just not drawing well. It doesn't look like he has much in his hand, either. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what to do. <laughs> we kind of just have to keep chilling. I, I can't really afford to do Sycamore here. Unless, like, if I can draw Ultra Ball, we can do that. But, other than that, this is just... This is... This is almost more garbage than Garboder and Trubbish itself. 
key. I mean, if he knocks out Buzzle this turn, I think I just scoop. Like, unless I can draw something, I think I scoop. But I don't know how I'm winning this game. Even, like, at this point in the game, it might be too late to even win. Like, if I had at least some damage on the board with Breakthrough, I would've been okay. He's gonna take a knockout. Alright, if we don't draw very good, I think I just scoop, guys. I don't really think this is even a matchup we can afford to win at. Like, I don't think I can win this game, guys. I, I don't see how I'm gonna win this. Yeah, that's, that, that's a scoop and a half right there. I mean, I know a lot of people don't like it when I scoop games. Um, but, I mean, our hand was complete garbage. We really couldn't afford to discard all those Yamegas, and we just weren't in a good position. He had Garboder, and he has Glispod, which means Lycanroc essentially does nothing. All right, guys, go find another match with our deck. See if we can not find a game against Glispod Garb, um, and we'll see what we end up facing off against. Really just need one more game, because that first game was pretty good um, against Gardevoir there, so... Should be okay for a decent video. It's just we need to get to one last match. So here we go. We'll see what we end up facing against this time. It looks like Zoar Lycanroc. It's kind of weird. That's usually the types you'll see in Expanded for the decks. Grass would be Execute. Um, this actually could be a Executor deck. So we'll have to see. Executor is actually pretty bad um, because they do have um, that grass type. Which means Lycanroc, once again, is neuter, which is not good. But if you're playing a Zord Lycanroc, you know, it's one of your best matchups, for sure. So this kind of sucks if he is playing Executor Zord, which I like have to be. He has to be. He could be playing Glisspod Gar or Zord. Oh, okay. Fighting Dark, though, I don't know. Interesting. Okay, we'll dump a DCE and probably Guzma here. Hopefully Bridget. Alright, nice. We can Evo Soda off Tillery next turn, which is the plan. Decidueye is a weird matchup, though, for us, too. I don't even know what kind of Decidueye deck this is. Judging from the types. Like, dark and fighting. I don't know. We'll just put down Rock Ruff, Buzzwool, and I guess another game. Now. Sure. We'll attach to Rock Ruff, get it built up, and we shall pass. So pretty good start from us. We'll see what my opponent has here. <sighs> super speed. Funny thing too, you can actually super speed with a choice man for 100 on a like or not. Get heads, and then they can't damage you, and then you can knock them out with another super speed. I don't know, I just thought of that. Might say that my deck explanation part of the video. I can't I can't really tell what Decidueye deck this is though. The types are really odd. Like, I guess he's playing like a Zork Decidueye deck. But what would the fighting type be? I don't know. He's actually just gonna pass. Um, okay. I don't think we can win this turn because we don't have... Oh, well, we could. Technically, okay, maybe we could win. Um, yeah, it's possible to win. I mean, if we get Yamega and uh, Lycanroc, we win the game. Okay, we didn't get it there. We'll end him. And all right, we won. Part of me kind of just wants to play the game, <laughs> not gonna lie, just because I have such a good start. But, you know, a win is a win. A win is a win. We will take what we can get. Plus uh, Hopefully he lets me look at his deck because I am curious to see what kind of a deck he was playing. Um, we get a cro Oh, snap! 300 coins! I haven't got that in a while. That is beautiful. It was a Zoark deck. Okay, he actually did have Espeon, too, which could have been interesting. And he played two Buzzwolves. Okay, that's actually a pretty cool deck with, like, the Zoark and Buzzwolves and Decidueye. I actually, I, I rate that. That's that's actually a pretty interesting combo in Decidueye. I, I, I think that's actually a pretty cool deck. But we are going to get some packs from the shop here. In fact, we're going to get one Forbidden Light. I'm still looking for those Secret Rare items. Um, instead of having to blow a bunch of packs on them. And we'll get a Plyma Freeze pack for YOLOs. Because I got one today after doing a tournament. I'm actually going to open a Forbidden Light pack first. I got one from Attorney and I actually ended up pulling a Full Art Heat Ran EX. Not a great card, but that tells me, who knows, maybe my next pull from Plyma Freeze is Secret Rare Max Potion or Ultimate Ball. 
So we got Dragalge, not really anything good. We do get I mean, of course all the bites fine, I guess, for pulling, but other than that, that pack is worthless. However, the juice is in Plasma Freeze, so let's see if we pull Secret Rare UB. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth. Oh, another heat I just just when I said I pulled a heat rainy X, we pull a second one. Can't complain, I don't even have that, so it helps my collection out a little bit, I guess. Um, we'll find one game again, that was obviously not even a match. I think if that game did play out, I would have been okay. Again, so what we can deal with thanks to Lycanroc. Buzzwool is okay too, because, I mean, it didn't look like he played Beast Ring, so it's not like he had much. Ooh, this could be a Zygarde deck. Zygarde is a great matchup, because, you know what, yeah, Mega, it doesn't even apply for Verdict, and it is a Grass deck. So we'll flip tails here on the coin flip. My opponent's with the hell dude. We shall hit him back with the hello. We don't win the coin flip, which kind of sucks. We'll see what kind of fighting deck this is. We do start with... Okay, that's a really powerful hand. I'm actually going to open with Yanma just because of that fighting resistance. I was thinking Buzzle, but because of Yamega... Yam... Yamega... Yanma is resistant to fighting. He's probably better to start with Yanma. We'll play Rockruff. We can do a turn on Bridget, which is beautiful. Hopefully we can get an energy too. No, he's playing Crabomerable. Dang it. I was hoping this would not be a Crabomerable deck. That's something that was in the back of my head as to what he was playing. And it looks like he actually is playing Crabomerable, which I actually don't really like seeing. Not that it's a bad matchup or anything. It's just... It's just not... I don't know. It's weird. Alright. We do top deck Lycanroc. No energy, but we will bridge it. Probably get Latios while we're at it. Of Octillery. Got one Yam Mega Break prize. Got two DCs prize. Alright, that's fine. We got okay stuff for next turn. Probably gonna use Yamma here, unfortunately. Unfortunately, Carbominable does do enough damage to take out Yamma. Even without. Well, no, he, we actually would need strong energy. Yep, there's the knockout. Okay. Gladios is good here, but I don't know. We have two DCs prize. So it's a little annoying. We can't Latios DCE. Like, we can hit him for six with Latios. We'll have to see what happens. Not that great of a matchup, though. Crabominable is not even weak to grass. It's weak to psychic. So that also kind of sucks. So we'll have to see what goes on. You see a Sycamore. He actually loses a bunch of energy, including a DCE, which tells me he's playing... Okay, there we go. That answers my question. Lycanroc. So it's not a pure Crabominable deck. That makes me happy. So I was actually worried he's just going to be playing... A Pure Kamamo deck because I was like, oh, I don't want to play games that. That's not a very fun game. Not a very fun matchup. I'm actually going to bring a Latios here just because we can start hitting him for 60 and I don't think he can even KO me. We'll probably get rid of Guzman Judge to grab Octillery. I mean, hopefully we can find DCE. That's the goal. Play Buzzwool down. We could play Lycanroc down now. I don't know. We'll play Lele down, I guess. Grab a Sycamore. I might just Sycamore now, to be honest with you. I guess we'll do it. Could trap him. I'd rather hit him for 60. Yeah, I could Octillery, but if I draw a bunch of, you know, stuff. And we didn't get DC, so that's a little unfortunate. We can, however, put an energy on Lycanroc and pass. And next turn, we could potentially Guzma a Dangerous Rogue, a Lycanroc, if he puts one down. That kind of sucks though we didn't get the DCU. I only had two. We do have Mallow in our hand, so next turn we are confirmed to get it. We'll see if our Latios goes down. There's a Lycanroc GX. Tool and Oranguru is good too, I guess. And Omega can one-shot that if we ever need it. Oh, he's actually gonna take out Octillery. Everyone just wants to take out my Octillery today. I don't I don't get it. What did Octillery ever do to you? He's actually gonna end me also. Can we get Stretcher? No, we do get Omega Break, which is good. And we got max potions, which is good too. He's gonna put DC on Lycanroc. He's just gonna gutsy hammer me. So, no tool on Lycanroc sucks. Um, so, bring out Yeah Mega, because we're retreating. We're probably just gonna have to try and sledgehammer him this turn. Um, we don't have any energy to do that, though. I think we're just gonna have to get rid of the Yeah Mega line. Or get rid of a DC in the middle. Or a Choice Band, sorry. We got our Lele. I could end him to four. Um, might as well do that. We'll attach the Choice Band to probably Lycanroc. We will play the Lele down, and we will see 
what to do. If we had artillery, we could mount a little knock it out. We have our stretcher in the deck. Oh, wow, it's prize. That's unfortunate. So it's either I um, Cynthia or and I think I just Cynthia, which I mean, I already grabbed it. It's, it's a little too late, but uh, whatever. We'll play the Cynthia, and we're looking for a energy. And we whiff. That's not good. So, yeah, it's not good. We cannot... Hmm. I can't really even play my hand down, can I? I, mean, I actually, no, I can. I might as well get rid of these two. They're pretty much useless cards. Probably just grab the other rock card. Dang it, dude. Dang it, dang it, dang it. But we barrier break him. He does knock himself out. He wants to attack me. And then maybe we can max potion, which yeah, I still have. So we'll see. No energy sucks. I really wanted to just knock him out sledgehammer there. Well, we wouldn't need a strong energy, but you never know. I could have hit it. There's a Cynthia. It's gonna be an interesting Sycamore. I'm depending if I can draw something I can play, I might not even play it. Because I don't really want to lose this many Pokemon. I mean I kinda had to grab something with the Ultra Balls, so it's not like I had a choice. Alright, so let's see what my opponent has. He has a Pow Pad. Okay. He does put another Pokemon on his bench too, which is an extra. So we're doing 50 with the choice band strong energy. So we can actually KO Lycanroc here and with Dangerous Rogue. However, Double Orangaroo is sad because he gets strong extra cards. Uh, you got, I think you get rid of a Guzma and a DC there. I wouldn't mind actually KOing him with Latios here. Um, if we can do it. Like, I don't think we're gonna get KO'd here, unless he gets a float. Well, we'll see. We'll see. really wish he had a tool on Lycanroc. I wish there was a... I wish there was, like, an, an item card we could play that, like, put a, a forced item, like, a forced tool on his opponent. But there is none of that. Another Kraballer going down is a little annoying. Again, Krabamable is honestly more of a threat than Lycanroc in this match. He actually kind of fills bench up completely. So, never mind. Dangerous Rogue is just gonna sleep him. He's not even going to attack me, because he doesn't want to get killed. Okay. Unfortunately, our draw was pretty bad. I'm at the Sycamore. We're, we really need that Rescue Stretcher. Okay, so we didn't get a knockout with Mega, but we can knock him out Latios, which is what I wanted to do. And might as well just hit Kraballer. We'll see if Lycanroc takes out my Lycanroc here. That's, I think, the worst case scenario. Can we find our stretcher off the prizes so I can get back? Probably, honestly, just the yeah, Megas, to be honest with you. Probably what I'll get back. Artillery, maybe, but like, I don't know. I don't know. Nope, just an N. Just an N. So we will see a Nest Ball. My opponent will bring up the Lycanroc, so that's interesting. Gonna put baby buzz down but if we knock out lycanroc here which is probably what's gonna happen that big buzz is useless all right so it looks like he's just gonna claw slash my latios this turn which is fine we're losing a lot of our attackers but it's not the end of the world and no crabominable so he's just gonna knock me out we'll dangerous rogue him and we'll have a lycanroc to sweep him see we draw yeah okay we will land him here i think We'll save the DC, you never know, we could use it with Lele. We'll end my opponent to a low hand size. Okay. Flopestone. Again, well, I think we just hold every card in our hand in case we do need a Mega. And we will Dangerous Rogue knock out this Lycanroc GX. End of three is good, because if he doesn't get anything he can play, like, he can't draw any cards of the Ranguru. And we got another DC and a Mega, not bad. Still need that stretcher, though. My opponent's is well played. Um, we'll hit him with a wall play too. I don't think he's conceding, but, you know, it is what it is. Now, I don't think we have the other strong energy in the deck. Oh, actually, we do. Yeah, we do. So, we really need to find strong energy if we're going to be able to knock out Corbali here. There's another Rock Ruff going down, so if we can draw Guzma, I will knock that out. My opponent has a Sycamore. Alright. Maybe he doesn't even find an, an energy here, so that could be a possibility. Double Corbomitable. Does he find an energy to 
Energy Lotto, that's an interesting card to see. Oh, we didn't hit it! Oh, we didn't hit it! I'm gonna hit him with uh, Happy Face, I guess. I don't wanna be a jerk. I don't wanna be a jerk here, but that's pretty big. If he doesn't, if he didn't get the energy, we're in good shape. The only problem is, is another Lycanroc could be bad, but if he doesn't have an energy, he can't really attach to power up a dangerous rogue threat. So it's like all Gucci. He's gonna super scoop up. He does get heads. He's gonna scoop up that Cabominable. I think he had another Ranguru, so he didn't look like he could play it. Looks like he's just gonna pass, I'm guessing. Nope, float on the rock rough. Okay, thank you. Now yeah, Mega one shot your Lycan Rock. Beautiful. He kinda had to do that. I would have just floated the the Buzzwool. He does get energy on his rock rough, okay. Okay, we still probably just claw slash him here. I mean, if we lose Lycan Rock, that sucks, but we Oh wow, that is a top deck and a half. I'm actually gonna play the float now. I don't want to draw it, and I think I just claw slash him here. Actually, no, we'll end our we end our, yeah, I think we end instead. We'll end once again. We will knock him out claw slash, thanks to that strong energy top deck. Okay. And we end ourselves and we top deck, hopefully what we draw is four cards, and that's what we need to knock out Lycanroc. I'm assuming he's gonna want a dangerous rogue me here. Hey, there's stretchers. There's a card we could play from our hand. We should have game here. Assuming my opponent takes a knockout Lycanroc. Carbomitable won't knock me out, and even if it does. So he's gonna put energy on Rockruff. Which tells me he's looking for that Lycanroc GX. So again, if he finds it, he can dangerous rogue me. But because he put a tool on, we knocked him out with the Omega. However, he could feel blower it off. I think he's played two blowers, he's played one. We'll see. He does have Ultra Ball for Lycanroc, it looks like. Getting rid of two more crabs. I'm really hoping we don't actually see a field blow here. Because I really want to finish this, this Lycanroc off with your boy, your Mega. With a beautiful, beautiful Assault Boom. Let's see. I mean, it actually could be pretty bad if you don't knock him out. Who knows? So he's getting struck for one. The tool going on for Abominable, so if he does field blower, I guess that's good. I don't know. I'm really hoping he doesn't find a field blower here. Okay, Dangerous Rogue, and that is game. We'll hit him with a well played, and um, that is the match. We can just bring out Yamega, and we have enough cards in our hand to be able to attack him, which is good. So we can just do this. Assault Boom, 420 times 2 is 240, which is a KO, and that is match. So, pretty interesting game. The Lycanroc, I think, is what really gave us the advantage to win the game. And I think that'll wrap up today's PCGO video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe down in the road to 3k subs. Yen Mega with Lycanroc. Yen Mega is finally leaving the standard format very, very soon. And this is potentially Yen Mega's last chance to be good. Because I doubt Yen Mega's going to see any playing expanded at all. It's not that great in the expanded format. In standard, though, you know what? It's got some mercs. It's got some merits. And this could be its last chance to be good. And we showed it off hopefully very well here. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Help me on the road to 3,000 subscribers. We are getting closer every day to 3K subs. Thank you all for all the support on the videos recently. And I'll see you guys in another PC Joe video. Peace out. Nah, see you guys later. Goodbye.